Hi, I'm Sierra the Daring. I make music videos here on YouTube, some covers, some originals, all over the place. I've gotten a couple requests to make a tutorial for this song, Hey Ma by uh, Bon Iver, so I thought I would do it. Um, this is my very first tutorial ever, so I'm like a little nervous, but also kind of excited because it's a whole new, a whole new world for Bon Iver's Hey Ma. But before I get to the tutorial, if you find this video valuable, please give me a thumbs up, throw a comment in the description box, or subscribe down below because it really does help to grow my channel. Thank you so much. If you want to see my cover of Hey Ma, I'll link that in the description below. Also, if you want to play along with the whole song, um, you can find that down there. All right, so here it goes. This song has five chords, um, but they're all really simple beginner chords, so I think um, this is a good song for beginners. If you are a beginner, if you can really nail these five chords, you really will be able to play so many, many songs. You can probably play any country song ever written if you can play these five chords. All right, so the chords in the song are A minor. Yeah. Uh, C, F, G, and E minor. Now you can play G like this, or sometimes, especially if I'm playing it with an E minor, I like to play my G kind of in this bar form, so you bar the three strings here and then you put your... Uh, middle finger on this string here and then it's really easy to transition it to an E minor because all you have to do is put your ring finger down on the top G minor E minor anyways that's just a little trick I like all right so those are the chords uh, next we're gonna talk about strumming pattern I've also gotten a couple questions about what strumming patterns I use which is something I quite frankly have never thought about before I usually just kind of start going with the flow and playing and just like feel vibe it out go with the flow all that but i did a little research thank you other youtube tutorial creators and kind of picked up some things and i think i figured out the strumming pattern that i was using in the video that i made for hey ma i feel like this is a pretty accurate representation of how i play this song so i'll play the intro with the strumming pattern and you can follow along out there in internet land. There's a down with the pause and then another down with a tiny pause and then a up, down, up, down. A down with a tiny pause and a down with a tiny pause and then a up, down, up, down. So. So that's the intro and my main pattern is the down with the tiny pause and then a down tiny pause and then up down up down but I do some different variations which I don't really consciously think about it just is all about the flow of the song and kind of just how I'm feeling all right so I'm gonna play the first verse and maybe get through the chorus and see how that goes Living in a cold mind. 
Okay, so I don't think I want to play every verse. If you do want to play along with me every verse, I will link uh, my Hey Ma in the description below and you can follow along with me there. So I think I'm going to skip this verse and this chorus because it's all the same. I mean, the chords are all the same. But I, I will skip ahead to the bridge here, because that took me a little time to figure out. You're back and forth with love. You're back and forth. You're back and forth. You go back and forth. Then you're back and forth. You're back and forth. You're back and forth. Mm -hmm. I waited outside. I actually will do the third verse because this one took me a little time to figure out because the melody is just a little different so I will just go over this third verse with y'all and then I'll do the chorus and show you how I end it. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick outline of how to play this song, the basic chord structures, my strumming pattern, all of that. Like I said, if you want to play along with the full thing, you can find um, my video down in the description below. This song has really great transitions, so when it does change from... It has these chord structures of the verse and the chorus, um, but it has these really great transitions that very nicely move you into the next thing. And also for the bridge, I think I play this a little differently than he does, but that's kind of just what's going to happen when you're transitioning something from, like, a, a, a band into, like, a singer-songwriter ukulele style kind of sort of thing. So that just happens. And like I said before, I do really like putting my own flavor on a song. You know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but plagiarism is... Wah whack whatever yeah do the best to add you to whatever you're remaking if you're remaking something I would recommend that you put as much of your own personal flavor on it as possible because your flavor is so unique in this world and it's a really valuable thing to be able to put into your music especially if you're doing covers you know I think it's nice to reinvent them in a way that way you're still paying a tribute to the songwriter who created the song, but you're also kind of moving it into a new world and letting it evolve in different ways and letting people see it in different ways. So, yeah, that's my advice for how to do covers. <laughs> thanks for watching this. Um, thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Y'all support means the world to me. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this tutorial. If, uh, if it helped you, maybe leave me a comment and what was good, what wasn't good. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye. So you bar the three strings here and then you put your uh, middle finger on this string here. The this string. <sighs> okay. I'm like nervous. I've done this a million times, but I'm like nervous. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 so silly. And that's it. <laughs>